Hey boys and girls, welcome to my video. I am your host, the J-Man, and today I've got something to present to you. I've got a really interesting gift and uh, toy that I can't wait to show you. So, here it is. From the hit video game series, Ninja Gaiden. Ryu Hayabusa. There you have it. Collector's Edition. Complete with Tonfas from, the, uh, from Ninja Gaiden 2. Changeable hands, right, yeah, there. Fists, you know. Yeah, these are open hands, the ones he's wearing right now, so you can put the tonfas in them. He also comes with, um, of course, well, let's see, oh, the sword in the back, which is in its case. You can't really see it, but it's back there. Um, uh, what else, what else? 32 points of articulation. I want to point that out. Um, so we're going to put that to the test. So you have the dragon sword, throwing daggers, two sets of hands, and the tonfas. Um, throwing daggers, I guess those are the shurikens. You can see them kind of attached to his uh, thigh here. So pretty cool figure. I can't wait to open up the box and show you guys what it looks like. But quickly, I'm going to give you a view of the back. Just to see here. And um, yeah. This is from NECA. You can get this at NECAonline.com. I got mine from um, I got mine from Amazon.com. This is very nicely sculpted and detailed. Um, the painting I think is a little bit too dark on the arms. I think you should kind of have a toned down skin, especially because Ryu is a Ryu is Japanese, so they usually tend to have pretty um, pale complexion. No offense to Asian people. Um, but yeah, Ryu, Ryu here looks pretty cool. He's got the green eyes. You can just barely see them. Um, the base plate on the top of his helmet is a little bit too big, too overblown, if you ask me. But it's not a big deal. Uh, the dragon sword looks exactly like it does in the game. Pretty much the costume is the same. He's got a scarf around his neck, though, um, which tends to stand out a little too much. Uh, it's kind of an off gray instead of the black. Um, what else? Really good packaging. Uh, yeah, like I said, I got this from Amazon.com. Pretty good deal. It's about, I'm going to say, what? We're looking at maybe seven inches, six and a half, something like that. Pretty lightweight. I don't think it's PVC, it's just pretty much plastic. Um, facts about Ninja Gaiden, or Ryu rather. Ryu is male, obviously, nationality Japanese, birth date June 15th. That's very interesting. That would make him what? Um, I'm not very familiar with astrology, but you figure it out. Um, age 23, blood type A. So he's 23 years old, so, you know, in case you ever wondered, you know, you probably assumed he was in his 20s, but... There you go for specifics. Just a few days over age 21. So it's basically 23 years old. Um, 5 foot 10 and a half. Wow, he's not very tall. Um, you know, most male lead characters or protagonists are 6 foot tall. So he's a little bit shy of that. Weight, 172 pounds. Mm, yeah, I guess I could imagine that. That's pretty lightweight for a guy like him. I mean, he's got bulky muscles, if you, especially if you look on the original, um, not the original, but Ninja Gaiden Black for the Xbox. He's got really bulky muscles, so he kind of looks like a heavyweight, but at 5'10", I guess you could get away with 172 pounds. His fighting style is Hayabusa Ninjutsu. If you know anything about Hayabusa, that's one of the most elite Ninja clans, as far as fiction goes, uh, Japanese fiction. Status, he is armed and extremely dangerous, a master ninja. Special abilities, Ninpo. Location, he is at large. I guess he's wanted by the law. Um, so his mission is revenge. Interesting, I don't know who he's trying to get revenge against. I don't exactly remember the, the plot from the Ninja Gaiden 2 game. Um, his known allies, Ayane, which I think Ayane is his sister, and obviously Sonya. Mm, it's not mentioning 
Rachel from the first game. Um, nationality, national security alert 10. I guess that would be the highest, so he's definitely high profile. And objective, terminate by any means. So this is basically, there we have him out of the box and ready to go. As you can see, are you high Abusa? 360 degrees. All right, very well painted, sculpted, and articulation is very impressive, I have to say, except for a few places. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. First of all, you've got uh, the sword, which you just pull right out of his sheath. The sheath can also be removed. It just slides right into a little holder um, that's attached to his back, and you can pull the, sh the sword out from the handle. See it? Uh, it's not sharp, but it does it does have kind of a tip to it. But really cool looking. It's also got the curve, samurai curve. So, and it fits right in his hand, straight out of the package. So you don't have to switch hands to get him to hold the sword. So that's instant satisfaction right there. So he's got the sword. You can swing around, and you know maybe even do that 360 or uh, half circle strong attack move where he spins. Anyways, yeah. So, let's go ahead and look at the articulation. I put the sheath, the sword back in the sheath, like that. Um, one more thing I want to point out before I do the articulation. He's got little straps on the sides of his leg for the shurikens. The shurikens can fit right in there. Pretty cool. Okay. Articulation. Starting at the top with his head. His head can turn slightly left and right, very slightly. Um, I believe it can go a full 360, but I'm not going to try it. There you have it, 180. Okay, and it also goes up and down very, very slightly. All right, now, the shoulder, top of the shoulder. Vertically up and down. I'll show you. Vertically up and down and horizontally up and down. Vertically up and down too. And vertically at full 360. Alright. At the bicep. Spins 360 on an angle, 45 degree. And at the at the bicep here, or oh, I'm sorry, at the bottom of the shoulder that was. This is the bicep or the um, elbow joint, which bends slightly in and out. See here bending slightly in and out. Okay. And the wrist spins 360 degrees. Um, you can also pull pull it out and replace it with another piece, the hand, so we can make a fist or hold something else. But uh, don't worry about breaking the, the hand off because it just attaches, so it reattaches. So. And you've got um, oh his scarf, which uh, you see in the back is free of the actual costume. It's not hard plastic. It is more um, rubbery and textured too, which is pretty cool. It's got a neat little texture to it. Uh, I imagine you might be able to remove it. I'm not going to try that at the moment. Also, you can get a good look at the sheath, which can be removed. So you can make it like he's uh, holding his sheath or picking it up off the ground. All right, at the abdomen, he bends slightly. All right, and... The legs at the thigh, the legs are a ball joint, so they spin 360 degrees at an angle. But unfortunately, the leg cannot really go straight up and down vertically. So if you wanted to pose him with a bent leg outward, you wouldn't be able to do that. But he can um, bend at the knee, pretty good articulation on the knee. As you can see, that's, uh, I think, 45 degrees at least. And then... Uh, you have the ankle. The ankle spins 360, which is not really necessary, but you can do it nonetheless. And the toe joint, which bends completely upward or completely downward, uh, anywhere in the middle. Pretty cool. All right. So, as for the other things, he can't. He came with um, two other hands, which are um, attachable, and they're both fists with the. Hole in them so you can stick the sword in there 
or the tonfas. And the tonfas look like this. Very nicely sculpted with sharp ends, but you're not going to hurt yourself. They're not that sharp, but they look sharp. And, um, you know, the ends are silver painted. And then there's the handle for Ryu. Pretty cool. It looks a lot like the ones in the game. I can't say exactly like the ones in the game, but pretty close. Um, so they just fit into one of his hands. And then you've got the shurikens, which uh, are somewhere around here. I'm not able to find them at the moment. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you the shurikens. But other than that, I think this is pretty cool. And yeah, really nice gift for fans of Ninja Gaiden on Xbox or even PlayStation 3. Games produced by Tecmo and Team Ninja. Ryu Hayabusa can also be seen in the Dead or Alive series. That's one of the fighters. But uh, as far as ninjas go, he is pretty much the coolest ninja on the planet, in my opinion. Let's do a close-up shot. Oh, yeah. Pose for the camera. Look at those muscles. Look at that badass costume. You know you love it. All right. So stay tuned for um, Ninja Gaiden 3, which should be out, I'm going to be guessing... Sometime next year, they have already announced the rumors for the uh, the plans for that. Man, they even released a teaser poster. So, yep, everyone can look forward to Ninja Gaiden 3 on Xbox 360. And I know I will. I'm going to get my advanced copy because this is one of my favorite games of all time. One more thing I'd like to point out about this toy. Um, as you can see here, he's standing. I have this leg bent and tilts up a little bit and inward which is good because it looks like he can stand but when you're trying to do action poses the problem is that this left leg here this left leg right here is very bow-legged and stiff and it only you see um, faces this angle going outward but I need the leg to really point more inward or in order for him to stand um, so he looks very uh, bow-legged and awkward and I think that the leg is meant to articulate more in and out like this one does. I'll show you like that. But it doesn't. And I, don't, I think that could be a manufacturing error. But it's really a problem with this toy and it's something I needed to point out. Because when you're trying to pose him, like if, he's, if he was leaning forward, it wouldn't look natural because this leg is just so straight and stiff. It's like supposed to come out at the thigh more and bend here and go down but unfortunately because it's so stiff it won't do that so it just looks really awkward like it's straggling out to the left at an angle so unfortunately uh, that would be a flaw in the design of this and like I said I don't know if it's a manufacturing error but it could be a reoccurring error so uh, that's very unfortunate, but still cool to play with, and um, there's a lot of stunts you can do with this one, like, you know, karate chops, backflips, all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, uh, thanks for watching the video, and see you next time.